Alright everyone, welcome back to Diablo 4. Been a little bit, but now we're back and uh, I'm going to be playing it at least a couple of times in the next couple of days, or next few days here. And uh, I remember we are nearing the end of Act 2. If you take a look, the knife that twists again. Donan wants me to meet him in Saragar. We must try to stop Astaroth and cling to the hope that we can save Yorin before it's too late. If you remember, last time around we found out Lilith had kidnapped Yorin as a way to torture uh, Donan for rejecting her advances and not working with her. And he, she had stabbed the crystal that apparently imprisoned Astaroth into Yonin's head. Ouch! I, we don't know what's going to happen. Is he going to turn into a demon? Is he going to die? So that's what we're trying to figure out. Alright, so we'll see here. Yeah, I know. Apparently they, there was a DDoS attack today on, on Blizzard. Um, what's weird is my wife was playing Diablo 3, or Diablo 4 had no issue. I guess because she had already logged in. I guess the DDoS attack only affected logging in at the time. So it was funny because I went on my break earlier. I went downstairs and said, are you, are you able to play? She's like, yeah, I didn't have a single problem. I'm like, oh. All right. Okay. Um, so let's see here. First of all, I can already see that we have trolls. I'm just going to take them out now. So we don't have to deal with their nonsense. Good evening, Cracker Jacks. How are you? Good to see you here. Okay, are we good? Ready to begin? So if we take a look at the map... It looks like the story, the, the conclusion of Act 2, is going to be up in Donan's area, which is why we probably teleported here to begin with. Um, we've got a few items, maybe some things here that we want to dump uh, before we, we bother. So that way we have inventory space, perhaps. Probably want to dump some of this stuff. This is saying that it's going to have more damage per second overall, but if you actually compare to what I've got equipped, right... Mine's giving me a big bonus to charge bolts. See that? So that's uh, pretty dumb. I don't think that I should I should get rid of the charge bolt for a 13 increase. That's a pretty pathetic increase, actually. Um, same thing here. This one gives me a rank of meteor, but I'm not using meteor. The other one is giving me more life regeneration and way more thorns. So I think I should just keep what I've got. Yeah, well, let's dump some of this stuff at a blacksmith before we uh, before we head over. Where's the blacksmith? Right here. How do I just select? Oh, here we go. Just dump it all. Okay. Shout out to Nathan Smith. Who just gifted a membership and it went to Walter Moss. Congrats, Walter Moss. And thank you, Nathan, for supporting the stream tonight. Appreciate that. Cool, cool. All right. So I think we're good here. I don't think we're going to upgrade anything. All right. So I think we'll just head right to Donan, right? Let's uh, head further north. What's funny is when I was in this town, I didn't hit the waypoint. So I have a town. Oh, this one. So I have a town with no waypoint in it, which sucks. If I ever have to go back, I have to walk all the way over there. Uh, all right, we're just going to head north. Yep. North to Donan. See what Donan's up to. What's his plan to get his son back, right? Here we go. Matthew says, what's the next movie review? Dungeons and Dragons. Honor Among Thieves. I have not watched it yet. Likely, I'll probably watch it tomorrow night. Because tonight, I want to watch some Street Fighter 6 videos to prepare for tomorrow's Street Fighter 6 stream. Probably watching some Zangief and Lily tonight to try to learn some tech. But uh, I'll probably watch it probably like maybe... Uh, you know, maybe Monday night, maybe Tuesday night, and I'll review it by the end of my streaming week. So, Nathan gets another membership. This one went to Fern Dog. Congrats, Fern Dog. And again, thank you, Nathan, very much for your support tonight. Oops. All right. So, by the way, I'm just going to say this now, and I'm going to start mentioning it on streams. Uh, I've said it before, but people don't listen, so I just want to reiterate... And I want to make this a new rule on my streams. Alright? My streams are my own. My streams are my business. Okay? Literally, they're my business. Like, this is my job. Okay? If I feel the need to mention things such as, Hey guys, would you like to support the stream or whatever? And mention the ways you can support or anything like that. That's my prerogative. It's not yours. It's not your business to bring up, Oh, look, I think it's a slow stream tonight and people should support and stuff like that. That's literally not your Something place nor your job. It's not appreciated and a lot of people get annoyed by it. So it's a new rule. You are not allowed to mention a slow night. You are not allowed to mention that people need to step up and contribute. If I see that kind of behavior on my streams, that is a moderating action, in which case you will be 
timed out and or banned from the stream just as if you broke any other rule it's my stream my choice if i want to bring that up if you keep bringing it up you're out of here it's that simple all right now the thing is has it been a rule before it has but it's never been like a rule that i outright spoke and said stop you know sometimes i saw people doing it too much i would mention it but it's that simple you know, people don't want to be advertised to all night. And there's some trolls who come in here. They act like they're regular viewers. And then they'll just say that shit all night. Because they want to annoy people who are legit viewers. So if I see it, you're out of here. It's that simple. All right. Now let's continue. They're... They're here. Yorin can resist. He's strong. Okay, here we go. Dinner was good, Dark Galbach. It was a, uh... Italian bank. Oh, here we go. I guess we're getting to a big finale. This might be the end of Act 2. Cutscene. You're in! Nathan, currently I'm only You're reviewing in. movies. I'm not watching any TV shows right now. If and when a show comes out, people want me to watch and review, I will, but there's really nothing going on. No one's mentioned anything, so I'm just reviewing movies now. He has been waiting for you. Where? Where is he? Come forth. He's gonna be a demon. He made it. She turned him into a demon. Yo, my God. Okay then. My boy. Alrighty then. He called out for you. Wept until his tears became. Fire. Was what Astaroth? What which Diablo is he from? Was he actually supposed Do to be like that enemy from previous Diablos? I can't remember. I have what I came for. <laughs> All she wanted to do was torture him for rejecting her. <laughs> The game stuck me against the wall. I couldn't do it at all. What the hell was that? That was really stupid, man. Dude, this arena sucks. It's too small. You don't have enough enough uh, space to maneuver around.
shark is right now. Pretty good one. He did some good damage, man. That was fun. Cool. Poor guy lost his son. David says fix the audio. What audio? What's the problem with the audio? You gotta explain what's going on. Just to say fix the audio. Tell me what's wrong with the audio. <laughs> Mic is low, game is loud. My mic is max, so all I can do is lower it. Here you go. There you go. I forgot that Diablo is super loud, guys. So thanks for telling me. Sorry I'm if you couldn't sorry. hear me during the fight. Now it should be fine. I'm sorry. Every game's different. For some reason, Final Fantasy 16 is way low. This game's way loud, and Street Fighter is in the middle. So I have to keep changing it every game that I play. Sorry about that. Well, now there's loot. Weird that I had to finish the fight and then the loot appeared. Like that, that was weird. So I have legendary pants? I do. Legendary pants. So here's the difference. Uh, When you're hit when you're not healthy, a magical bubble is summoned around you. I already have this, don't I? So I'm going to get the same buff twice, apparently. Because that's the same thing I already have. This is going to give me dexterity, which isn't really going to help me. It is going to give me life regeneration. That's good. It also gives me 20% bonus movement speed whenever I chug a potion. That's interesting. Alright, we'll equip it. The thing is, I already have that ability. Like, that ability these pants have. I already have from... Let's see. When hit when not healthy, a magical bubble is summoned. But sitting in the bubble... 
pr players are immune. It can only occur once every 90 seconds. It's the same thing. Look, it's the same exact ability. So it's duplicated. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, but maybe I can, like, remove it from something and put it on something else, right? We'll have to see. Dr. Dean Gleesack says, if you find an aspect you want higher numbers on, amulet buffs it, pants will not. Oh. So the stronger aspect gets used and not the other. So there's no stacking of the same thing. I'm already using the stronger one by default. Got it. Okay. Well, that was uh, sad for Donan. He lost his son. But I guess that's the end of Astroth, right? I mean, kind of was unfinished business because they had never beaten Astroth. They just kind of sealed him in that crystal. But now Astroth is dead. But again, I don't remember who Astroth is. Is Astroth from a different game? Is he Was he from an older Diablo? The name is familiar to me. So was he an enemy from older Diablo? I don't know. One Boy Dash says that Dax buff, Dex buff might actually help me. They made all stats worthy for all classes. Rogue Intelligence actually improves critical rating. Not sure what it'll do, what Dex does for Sorcerer. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. It's over. The townsfolk can search for loved ones now. Aye. The shame about Yorin. Was one of us, you know. We'll take care good of Good night, Kagome. Don't know where you're going, far. but good night. Leaving pretty early. <laughs> Lilith and Astaroth had made a deal, and we were the ones who would pay the cost. Our presence was no coincidence. Everything happened exactly as Lilith wanted. Yep. We just died. She got her revenge on Donan. Donan was shattered. Yep. His mind on grief, not her. Not answers. No one knew what Lilith was truly after, or exactly what Astaroth had promised her. We needed to recover quickly, and we needed to stop chasing her phantoms. Is that it for Act 2? As the world burns, giant progress, and what did I just get? I got rare gloves that look, appear to be way better than what I have, but here's the problem. It gives me a buff to Frozen Orb, which I'm not using. It gives me a buff to Strength, which I don't care about. It will give me attack speed up, and armor is way up, but I'm going to lose the Ice Shard and the Chain Lightning buff. So I really don't want it. I would prefer the Chain Lightning and Ice Shard buffs rather than just to get the base damage or the base armor upgrade. I'll hold on to the item, but I don't think I'm going to use it. It doesn't seem very good for, for what I'm trying to do here. Yeah. We also have a rear focus. Yeah, uh, a little bit more damage. And a little bit of cooldown reduction. Extra healing received. But... I will not deal the 15% increased damage to vulnerable enemies when I have a barrier. Hmm. Nah, I'll keep the legendary. Okay. Did I get teleport yet? I don't think so. I don't even know what that means, so I guess not. I, I mean, I can teleport all around, but I don't know what you mean by that. So is that it? That's it. That was Act 2. So our next story mission is Act 3, and that is way, way, way out there to the west. Which is probably what we'll do next, honestly. Um, it looks like now that we've completed this quest line, there's a few new side quests that I can pick up here in the town, which we'll probably do. And then we'll probably, uh, you know, go over here and take off west and try to head to a new area and uh, a new quest line, Act 3. Okay, and everyone says Act 3 after I'm done with Act 3, then things really pick up in a big way, and that's how far I should try to get, so. Okay. Um. Alright, I just received a very generous tip. I just got a $50 tip from Lisa Lou. Thank you very much to Lisa Lou for a $50 tip, our first tip of the night. I appreciate that very much. Now, I have a question to ask. Should I play the $50 animation or should I play the new $30 animation, which is a brand new animation just for Diablo? What do you guys think? You think you'd prefer the, the $30 animation to see the new one? <clears throat> new one? Because it is a Diablo animation. All right, here we go. Let's see if it works. Yeah! But it's wrong. It says $30. It's 50 bucks. It was a $50 tip that came in. Now, look at that animation. That's sweet. <laughs> so if you want to see that again, it's a $30 uh, tip. 
And so it is Gunter Glass's time. Very nice. Will I review The Boys Season 4 when it comes out on Prime? I might. When does it come out? Because I'd be interested in it. Since you guys want to see it and I've watched some of The Boys, I'd have to play catch-up to, to be caught up on the plot. But I think I could. If you guys really wanted to review it live as it comes out new, absolutely I would do that. Okay. Alright. Thank you for the tip, Lisa Lou. Hopefully, first of many. <laughs> but if not, it's all good. You guys are good, are cool so far tonight. Thank you for your support, everybody. <clears throat> I did update the, update the leaderboard with those memberships, right? Yes, I did. Okay. So let's go back to town quickly. Let's just grab what these side quests are. And then we're going to start heading westward toward Act 3. Okay. Comes out the end of this year or next year. Alright, Dark Gobok, I'm all over it. I will review that if you guys would like. I've heard there's that and there's another show two people said that they wanted to see me watch and review pretty much, you know, every new episode when it comes out. But I can't remember what the other one was. Who's this? What are you selling? The Fledgling Merchant. I got the old bread. And these thumb rocks I found. Oh, yeah. The bread's not so bad if you toast it. My best sellers were my carved charger tusks. If you carve the right pattern, they're good luck. That's what Dad told me. Da. What's I up, the Dan man? How you doing? And money. Oh, but if you bring me some tusks, I'll cut you in on the profits. So, the fledgling merchant. That's another thing you gotta do. Uh, oh yeah, look. Oh my god. Uh, oh no, Sith Alchemist says, do you know about... Do, it's a it's an ability in the sorcerer tree. No, I don't have a t teleport ability in the sorcerer tree. I don't even know where that would be. Where would that be? I have no idea. If you know where it is and you want to suggest it, let me know when I when I level up again. I don't even know where that is in the sorcerer tree. I guess I didn't see it. Doesn't ring a bell. Okay. Can I help the rebuilding effort? What's well, up, Gabriel? Good evening. A strong back, eh, but your talents would be wasted swinging a hammer here in town. Truthfully, I've been hoping to visit my sister and her newborn up in Braestig, but the roads are too dangerous. And damned cut purse is lying in wait at every turn. Lot of folks round here would feel better with someone like you keeping those bastards in line. Blood of brigands. <laughs> Look how many side quests. Every area has a side quest. Like literally anywhere I go, I'm I'm doing a side quest at this point. Uh, is my stash in town? Because what I like to do is. I'm going to break down some stuff at the blacksmith, but I'm also going to stash some stuff while I'm here. No, I didn't watch House of the Dragon. By the time that I got HBO Max, which is now just called Max, it was already old. So, no one really cared. That's the thing. If I watch old stuff, no one's going to care. Seriously. And after having watched all of Peacemaker, which I didn't really like, and trying and reviewing it, and then basically no one watched the review, I, I really don't want to watch something old and put that much effort in that no one's going to care about. If it's going to be a new show, I'll, I'll watch and review it, but I'm not going to be watching anything old like that if, if you know, it's not going to pan out, so. No, I'm not all right. Just look at the color of her bark, the poor tree. My chanting is the only thing keeping her upright. She needs a piece of her mother, the great oak of Turdolra. Of course. Not to go deep for it, though. Down to the underroot where the ancients first planted. I'd search that darkness myself, but I can't leave her side. Please, help <clears throat> me save her. So they want me to get... Yeah, there's a new stronghold. In that stronghold, I guess, there's an old tree. 
Oh my god, you think that's far enough away? Wow. Yep. Overgrown ruin stands as a reminder of a great calamity. And I guess the red means that there's going to be like a crazy boss in there to do for a side quest, right? Hmm. Darth Gullbox says, House of the Dragon Season 2 will be out in a year or two, so maybe then we'll watch Season 1 and get caught up, and that would be more pertinent. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right, let's go to the blacksmith, and then we'll go to the stash, and then we will head towards Act 3. The Flash movie could be a fun review. Yeah, when it's out, I mean, it's not on demand yet. It just, it's still in theaters. I've seen some weird mixed reviews about that. Like, people cannot agree on that movie. Greetings. How shall I gain my armor? All right, so I'm going to save the gloves, right? Nah, fuck it. Get rid of them. Uh, get rid of the boots. I need to get rid of everything. Fuck it, I don't care. I can just easily find more equipment anyway. It's not a big deal. Okay. And so fuck the stash. All right, we're going to head west, right? Let's head north and then westward out here towards uh, Act 3. In fact, here's what we'll do. Right? This will tell me where to go. All right. Jasper is good. Thanks for asking. Strongholds have to be cleared before you can do the quest, and it turns into a town. All right. Well, we'll do what it says to do. Evil Dead Rise came out on Max. I saw that the other night. Like, one or two nights ago, I saw it was on there. I'll probably watch it eventually. I don't know if I'll review it. I don't know if anyone's going to care if I review Evil Dead Rise. But uh, I might watch it. I like the Necromancer with his trail of skeletons. A big train of skeletons coming here. <laughs> That's funny. How many skeletons can you possibly have? Oh, how many thorn beast meats am I supposed to collect here? I already have four. Look. I don't know how many I'm supposed to have. It'll tell me when the quest is done, though, right? A corpse winder. It's just sitting there not moving. What the heck? Why is it frozen? That's weird. Out of mana. Out of mana. Alright, so I'm gonna remove Evil Anne because Evil Anne is literally saying every troll contrarian thing possible. Everyone else tonight saying, hey, the volume was too loud, lower it. They're just sitting there saying, oh, the volume's too low, like it louder. So you can say goodbye and never come back. Okay. All right, on to new areas. I think this is a world boss. Right? One of these... Uh, yeah, an event. World event. If there's people here, I'll do it. But I don't want to do it by myself. Is there anyone here to do it? There's no one here. Yeah, I'm not going to activate it unless other people show up. Nah, there's nobody here. Yeah, I'm not going to do it then. Oh, okay. Here's someone. All right, I'll help this guy. How about some chaos lightning for you guys? I need more time. The wrong thing. I wanted the shield and I used the area of effect to the complete ways. That guy leveled up, I think, down there. Oh, a war sword. Oh, did we do it? I think we did it, right? I need more time. Level 30, baby. Yeah. Gothic shield. We did it. Sweet. Blood orb. Highland boots. Ooh, a crude ruby. Cool. Some gold. That was easy. It's easy to do with other people, right? Uh, willpower, strength. Nah. And let's see. Ranks of ice armor. No, I'll take my two ranks of ice armor is better than only one. And the willpower buff, so that's a no-go. 
All right, good stuff. Now the question is... And my ability tree, where was that teleport you were talking about? Teleport? This is what I have right now, unstable currents. And I could level it up to make it even better. Increases your attack speed by 25%. Crackling energy will continually pulse and consume no charge. Wow, that sounds good. I might upgrade unstable current, actually. Teleport is the defensive skill tree below lightning. What? Where is, what? Where's that? Is the defensive skill tree below lightning? Defensive skill tree. Transform into lightning, become unstoppable, and surging into the target location, dealing damage around you upon arrival. I see. Hmm. If I got rid of that, I might get rid of chain lightning. In chain lightning, I've been using a lot, and I leveled it all the way up. But maybe I would get rid of chain lightning and use that instead, because I'm using ice shard is crazy good, right? So maybe I should get rid of Chain Lightning and instead just start using Ice Shard and uh, other stuff. I don't know. Hmm. You don't need to teleport to late game. I'm not listening to you. <laughs> I'm not listening to you at all. Hmm. Hmm. It would be nice to have something different. Teleport's cooldown decreased. Four seconds into teleporting, crackling energy hits two enemies. After teleporting, you get 30% damage reduction. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of chain lightning. Can I undo these? Gain 30% damage reduction for three seconds, or four seconds of teleporting, crackling energy hits two additional enemies. Let's do that. Let's do additional damage reduction. And then I'm gonna, can I level it up more? I'm just gonna get rid of this, because I'm not using it. There you go. So now I gotta equip this. How do I equip it? Assign skill. Instead of chain lightning. Which was X. There you go. Alright. We're gonna use this instead. I don't know what just happened. I, think I hit a skeleton or something. The, what the hell? The event started again? I'm not doing that again. Well, that's good. That was teleport, dude. That's really good. I'm not ready yet. Okay, this is really good. It gets you out of any sticky situation, right? That's pretty good. Look at that! Damn, I shard so good now, right? I shard's crazy good. <laughs> All right, this is cool. I just got to remember that's teleport now. That's not chain lightning. So I don't want to mash that button. I'll waste it. Thank you for the suggestion of teleport. Uh, was it Sith Alchemist, I believe? We're in the Gauthmar Grasslands. I they know Gauthmar was a friend of mine. <laughs> right. See, I want my mount, man. I know. Hiseo says the teleport would have been useful when stuck in the wall against the boss. Yeah, I would have got right out of there, right? The Ancient's Woods. We're on our way. Got a little ways to go here. The Southern Briars. Ghosts.
thought you missed me. Ha <laughs> I juked it. I'm sure going for a long walk here. Do we re yeah, we're in a new town. The town of Farobru. Which is about, yeah, about the halfway point to where we're going for the story. Farobru. Alright, let's uh, hit up the fast travel here. But I don't think we're doing much else. We're going to just pass right through. On civil current procs, all shock sales been active, so you could refund those notes for leveling up more. I have no idea what that means, Dr. Dan Gleesack. If you can explain more, I don't know what you mean. What does proc all shock skills mean? And why would I ref refund any nodes? I don't get that. Oh, what did I have for dinner? An Italian bake that my wife made. Oh, those, ew! Those are flies that hit me? I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> Give me in the face. Strider's crown? Nah. I'm, picking, I'm not picking up purples. Purples suck. Only yellows and oranges for me. If there's anything higher than orange, I don't think there is. Back off, Marauder, bitch. No, not lasagna. It was not lasagna. It was not that at all. I already explained what it was earlier, and you were here. I'm not repeating myself. Lord Prince Albert did a super chat, so wishing you and everyone in chat a beautiful, prosperous Sunday night, except for 672. Hope he suffers with explosive rectal discharges. Oh, interesting. I always like it when people come on my stream and give others well wishes. It's very nice. We gotta speed up. Look at this. Very good. Can I make Lazonda for under $30? I could, but it would not be a ton, and it probably wouldn't be the best quality. If you want a really high-grade lasagna that's big and you're going to have a lot of leftovers, you're going to spend more than 30 bucks on it. I would assume you're probably going to spend around the same that I would spend on a really good pot of Italian sauce, you know? All right. Well, it looks like we have arrived. Let's hit up some of these side quests, and uh, then we're going to see what the new thing is. It says, search for Lorith in Ked Bardu. Ked Bardu. But thank you, Lord Prince Albert, for the super chat. Let's get you on the leaderboard. There we go. Thank you. Very good. You seem troubled. It's my sons, Orden and Kada. They used to work here with me in Kedbadu, but then they got it in their heads to set up a new shop in Chirandai. You know how young men get when they're of age, desperate to prove themselves. If you are headed that way, would you mind checking up on them? The roads are so dangerous these days, and I haven't heard from them in so long. Don't worry. I'll look into it. I'm just going to unlock all the side quests and anything I happen to do along the way, but I'm not really going to focus on them too much. I'm just going to try to keep making story advancement. Did I stop making my pot of Italian sauce goldfish? I explained this. Yes, it was during COVID. During the whole year, year and a half of lockdowns that we had here for COVID. It was just too much of a chore because to make the Italian sauce, I just don't use standard ingredients. I have to get special tomatoes, special like like ingredients like... like uh, pork fat back and stuff like that and it's not just going to one place i can't go to one supermarket and get all the ingredients i need i have to go to like two or three places like one of the places i have to go is trader joe's and that's a ways away from me so during covid essentially it just wasn't worth it to do it, it was too much work during lockdowns and everything to do it so we just started buying you know store-bought italian sauce now we don't buy like like the cheap ones we buy the more expensive ones when we do have pasta so it still tastes pretty good is it as good as my homemade sauce no it's not would we eventually go back to doing it? Yeah, maybe. Maybe eventually we'll go back to, to doing the homemade sauce, but we just haven't gotten around to it. In fact, Kat and I were just talking the other day about making, making homemade meatballs again. You know, and I'm like, well, we might as well make the sauce, right? So 
We'll think about it. But uh, I really just haven't haven't done it, you know, in a while. COVID screwed everything up. We were in a routine. We were doing certain things constantly. And when COVID happened, it threw the whole world for a loop, right? And things just changed. And even though, you know, things have been open again for like another year, year and a half, we just never really got back into our old routines. It just kind of really threw us off. So, okay. Um, really quick, my other battery has charged. And I don't want to overcharge it since it is the first time the battery is ever charging. So let me go unplug it. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's see what this one is. Gellic. You look troubled. Five times. Five times this month, those brigands have plundered the incoming caravans. I care little for the stolen gold and spices, but those vultures take the food as well. Now those knaves gorge on our food while I watch my children waste away. Please, if you can recover any supplies, I'll personally see that your coin purse is filled. Why be better since they just beat Like a Dragon last night? This is the first Yakuza game I ever played, and the writing is absolutely amazing. Unreal. You're excited for the next one, of course. I mean, that was super duper good. Uh, modern turn based RPG, which aren't very common anymore. Most of them are action based. And to see them turn Yakuza into the kind of franchise I grew up playing is really neat. So, I want to talk to this person. Oh, I'm talking to this person. Are you in a hurry to leave? Oh, you reach the maximum number of quests? You can't actually get... There's a limit on side quests? There's a limit on side quests. That's insane. Holy shit. Well, I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of these then. Undo a bunch of these. That's pretty dumb. Why are you limited to the amount of side quests you can explore? That's so weird. Anyway. Go Team Venture, thank you for re-upping your membership tonight. And he says, hey, Phil, what's going on, Go Team Venture? How are you tonight? Welcome, welcome. All right, are you in a hurry to leave? No, see, are we? I'm heading south to start training as a mason. My mentor says that we can be of great help to the people there. If you're interested in helping some people, find Lacrid in Alzuda. Alzuda. All right. So, so we're looking for Lorith, who apparently is right here. This is Lorith. Wait, is this Lorith? Well, he's still breathing. Uh, he is lucky to be. Now we're talking to Daruk. What happened here? That old man there. He claims to be Horadrim. But he drinks like an ox. <laughs> he came to town days ago, looking for a servant of the demon Lilith. A pale man. It seems he didn't like what he found. I see. I will take it from here. Wow. Who are you? He and I met in the Fractured Peaks. I saw his pale man in a vision. You can believe it. Enough. He's yours. Just keep away from the bottle. Keep away from the bottle. He's a drunkard. All right. Wake up the drunkard. Slap him away. Oh, bloody damn hells. What do you want? You told me to meet you here, Lorath, remember? Uh, no, who are you? Well, of course I remember. Who am I? I'm just surprised you're not dead. To Hand me that bottle. What happened to you? I was attacked 
obviously, by vast quantities of alcohol, wielded by my own treacherous hand. <sighs> there may also have been a brawl with the goats over this patch of mud, but I like to think I triumphed. Lorath, who is the Pale Man? <sighs> the Pale Man is... was... Haradrim. Haradrim? Well, then you must know him. <sighs> I thought I did, once. His name is Elias. He was my apprentice. He was the one who brought Lilith to Sanctuary. It's possible that I did not take the news very well. What must we do then? Find him. Figure out what he's done. And then kill him. Listen. There's a woman here someplace. She has some messages we'll need, and I'm of no use to anyone right now. Could you find her? Enough time has been wasted. Check her on the inn. Ask if she's heard from the Paul Bay Monastery. All right, speak with Chekrin at the inn. All right. Lord Prince Albert says, have I ever been so drunk I fought a goat? No. The drunkest I ever was was probably in... The first half of the 2000s, I was working as a um, intern at a life insurance company, and they flew us out to their annual meeting. And while we were staying at the hotel, they had us go to uh, like a, a party at another hotel with other workers like, from the company. And I drank so much that I lost, I, I forgot where I was, and I just wanted to pass out because I was so tired because I drank so much. So I was like, oh, I'm going to leave this hotel and go to the other hotel by myself and get to the room and pass out. But I didn't know how to do that. So I was leaving, and I was like, where do I go? And I was so drunk, I was like, well, I don't want to use the elevator because I'm too drunk. So I walked into the stairs of the hotel. You know how each hotel has, like, emergency stairs? So I was in there, and I, like, half passed out for, like, a half an hour because I was so tired. I didn't, And then I woke up in, like, a half an hour, and I was still drunk, like, real drunk. But I was looking, I was like, what the fuck? Like, where am I? And like, why am I here? This is bad. If I get lost here, I'll never find my way around. <laughs> so then I went back to the, the hotel room where the party was, and it was lucky because like we were nearing the end of the, the party or whatever, and everyone was getting ready to go. I was like, oh shit, if I was just in here, no one would have ever known where I was. I would have slept drunk in this stairwell overnight and had to find my way back to the hotel across the other side of town by myself, and I didn't even know how to get there. Like, that would have been very bad. <laughs> That was the drunkest I ever was. I just completely lost lost my, my bearings over who I was or where I was or what I was doing. That was pretty bad. But anyway. Um, Alright. Tekrin. Laura sent me, have you heard of the Orbe Monastery? No. No words from Orbe. Same as yesterday and the day before. But I have something else. Rumor has it a pale man passed through the Abaru Canyon some time ago. Fearsome fellow, dressed in black. After Laura's performance last night, I wager he'll want to know. Okay. Return to, to return to update Loris. Alright. Yeah, I, I thought so. People are saying that at this big major Street Fighter Six tournament today was the first one ever. It was a Blanca player who won it. I'm that's not surprising to me, honestly. I heard that like the whole top sixteen was like rushdown characters, like Jury and stuff like that, and Ken and stuff like that. But then the winner was actually Blanca. Blanca outplayed them all, which is kind of cool. All right, Tekrin had no messages, but strange. I wrote to the Orbe Monastery the day I arrived. The abbot should have replied by now. Tekrin spoke of a rumor. A pale man. Seen near the canyons. The canyons? Why didn't you say so? We go at once. Oh, but we can't leave Orbe unchecked. Sod it. I'm off to the canyons. You can meet me there, or go to the monastery. You seem reliable. Thus far. Do not so he's giving us options. Either meet him in the canyons or go to the monastery. Let's see. Uh, either one. 
Let's see which, where either one is. So... One is over here. This would be Meet Lorith in the Canyon. And then one far south is travel to the Orbe Monastery to speak with the Abbot. Uh, I think we'll do this. I think this makes more sense. And by the way, another side quest opened up while we were talking to him. Let's do this. It's closer. Just do the one that's closer for now. I don't know if doing them in any order changes anything, but... All right. Another side quest over the here to unlock. Can only watch Is something much. wrong? The great axe of the Oxen tribe has gone missing from the forge. Stolen by swift hands. It is an heirloom of Raycor, war master of change. Its edge claimed countless demons upon Ariat, yet showed no wear. Its craft matched its keeper. The Triune has tried to take it before. Cubs looking to prove their worth. They learned their place, but remain persistent. We've seen them hiding around the ruins on the southern coast. If they have the axe, it's sure to be there. Oh, let's see here. Oh, I'm being asked what I do a members-only tournament in Street Fighter VI. It's as I've told you guys. I'm down for doing all kinds of things in Street Fighter VI. People want, want World Tour mode, which I've only played once. I would do that. I would do nights where I do lobbies with members or just viewers. Why haven't I done it? I don't have time. You guys have me juggling three other games of Street Fighter VI, which I told you heading into this month I knew was going to be more than enough and that it was going to basically hinder my ability to do more stuff. But everyone was like, you got to play Zelda. No, you can't skip Diablo. No, you must play Final Fantasy XVI. So I'm giving you what you asked for, but because of that, now my time is very limited. So the way I see it is if I start beating some of these games, like if I beat Zelda within the next one to two weeks, now I have night streams freed up that I can do that kind of stuff. Right now, I have absolutely no time to do it. You know, maybe eventually when things free up, I just can't do it right now, okay? And by the way, I just received a... $2.50 tip. For an anonymous tipper, what is a game genre you never got into? For me, it's fighting games and real-time strategy. Oh, uh, what? I mean, sports. Almost never have I played sports. Racing. Almost never have I done any kind of a, a car sim or racing game. Uh, it's a rarity if I touch those. <clears throat> and, uh... I mean, puzzle is very sparing. Then again, it's not like puzzle games are ginormous things anyway. Like, how often do you have a major puzzle game that everyone's talking about or plays, right? So that would probably be the three least played for me. But it's funny because some people only play sports, only do racing. That's their thing. And for me, it's like the complete opposite. I barely ever touch those. <clears throat> All right. So let's go meet with Lorith in these canyons. Do this first. This is why, coming up, one week from today is my big marathon. It's my big summer marathon called the Digital Summer Party. We're going to go through the game schedule together. And we are very seriously going to consider each game and determine the ones I absolutely must play at launch and what I'm skipping. There is no way I can play all the games in September, October, and November. There's way too many. We have to make important and tough decisions. It can't be, oh, we want you to play this one and this one and this one and this one in one month. It's not going to happen. I can't play seven new games in one month I'll never get through any of them you see so we have to make the important decisions and I feel like maybe if I had not played Zelda or I had not played Diablo or something like that we'd have more time to have more fun with the things I'm playing this month but right now I just feel incredibly stretched and almost stretched thin because we don't have enough time to play each one you see what I'm saying <clears throat> okay what have you found I had hoped to find a witness who saw Elias. Instead, I have a camp of dead merchants. They were slaughtered by demons, that much is plain. But none were summoned here. We should search the canyons. Could Elias have summoned these demons? Easily. And assuming he did, he may still be here. Stay close to me. Gathering all lies says, why not play what you're interested in only? I am. Do you really think that I'd be doing lengthy playthroughs of games I'm not interested in? I mean, of course I'm, I'm interested. The problem is, I'm like I've said many times, I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. So because I play so much, it means that people want to see me play everything, right? And since there's no focus, it's hard to tell what I should play and what I shouldn't play at one time. And that's really a, a, an issue. You know, the whole balancing of everything that I'm doing is a big issue. Um... It's not like I'm forcing myself to play bad games or games I don't like. This game is fun and chill. Right now, I would say, uh, 
Street Fighter is amazing. As you know, I've really enjoyed my coverage of Street Fighter so far this month. Zelda's a great game. I mean, I'm not doing everything in Zelda, and I'm criticizing it for it, but I'm absolutely enjoying the game, right? <clears throat> How does this teleport really work? So I'm trying to use it, and it doesn't seem to be like... I can't really do much oh, no. besides just move very short distances. Is that really all it does? It doesn't really do anything yeah. else. It's kind of lame, actually. If that's the case, I thought maybe it would, like, let me control or whatever, but it doesn't I don't know if I'm sold on this teleport yet. Evolves. Gathering yeah, Hall Live still says the game is super loud. I already lowered it once. I can lower it again if you guys really want me to. Uh, sadly, I don't think there's much I can do about it. The game is just very loud during combat. It just is. That's how they made the fucking game. I don't know why, but it just seems to be something that people have complained about the entire playthrough, right? I'll, I'll lower it again. I'll lower it again if you guys really want. Here, I'll lower it again. There, I just lowered it again. <laughs> I mean, I, at this point, I'm down to almost 50% volume, while other playthroughs, I'm doing 100%. Pretty crazy. <clears throat> yeah. See, it just seems like the teleport's lame. Does it not really do that much? Perfect for working in solitude. Is it good now? People are saying it's good now, the volume? Okay. Did they just die from the teleport? They did, didn't they? I think they died from the teleport. Damn. Must do good damage then. My ice shards are really good now. I'm really enjoying the ice shards. I need time. There we go. A world event? Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, no, this is the world event. This is the story. Okay. Alright, here we go. Do this. Hell yeah, that lightning's going crazy, dude. Out of mana. Once again. I need more time. A big boy. He's almost oh, dead. dead nice. Far too easy. These demons were perfect. I'd expect more from a maid with Elias's ability. <laughs> Let's search that. These demons were vermin. Alright, now they want me to go up here. So we're gonna keep walking through these areas looking for more demons. Alright. What's going on, Arkham? Good evening, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Thanks, everyone, for chilling tonight in Diablo 4. Over an hour left on the stream. We're going to make progress here in Act 3, which we just began. A carving of Lilith? Covered in blood? What the fuck? See my pain in them. The pain of a lonely man who had learned to hate the world. Hmm. And yet, our mother, Lilith, found me beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Like others like me as well. And together, we will build the new world. What a damn mess. Yuck. 
Here's what I found. Burning hells. We're too late. Elias is long gone. This Gengvar is our summoner. How can you be certain? Isn't it obvious? Elias finds Gengvar alone, friendless, full of anger. So he plays him like a fiddle, offers him Lilith's love and a part in his grand delusion. Then he gives him tools to express his anger. Summoning scrolls. Very perceptive. And knows how long Gamba has stewed in this madness. Hmm. Let's hope it can still be questioned. Alright, we're heading over here now. Okay. We're mapping this whole region. And then it's funny because we're actually very close to where the next story is going to be anyway. Which is cool, so. Alright, very nice.